Um, a handcar wheelbase. Yes. Interesting. It appears that elements of the same construction were scattered everywhere. Yes, they used that to to make Watson, it. Watson, please tell me, do you believe in magic? Of course not, Holmes. Then you are of the opinion that a train cannot simply disappear. Well, we both know that that is obvious. Why are you asking such peculiar? Because you saw a train disappear. A little patience, Watson. You will understand my point quite soon. So, are you quite certain that you saw the train at Evesham Station? Yes, of course. We saw it coming. The headlights and heard the whistle. But that is it. We didn't see the train itself. Mm hmm. Oh, but. Oh, Holmes, I'm a little confused. Handcar along with the lantern? Yeah, hand car the hand card along with the lantern. You hear the sound, they blow the whistle. Fake train experiment. Reconstruct the hand card, see if it can imitate the vanished train. Let us do so then, shall we? Yes. Let's see if we can do this. So, I should use the appropriate object here. I don't know what that is, though. Right, small gear, maybe. Handcar, put that back in. No. Making some joint uh, wheel. Probably good. Should use the appropriate object here. How is the wheel not appropriate to the wheel axle? We need some. Some of the planks have fallen off, alas. Some bits were missing. Ah, another wheel. There we go. There's some planks we need. Yeah, okay, so we keep spinning around. So you go here. Into. Is his mouse up? Around here somewhere? It comes out. It's a wooden base. No, I don't want to skip. I can skip this. I don't like. I don't like games where do this. I should use the appropriate object here. Break joints. So there must be some other thing we can put in. Breaks. Probably useful to put that there. There we go. I don't want to skip these little puzzles. I'm quite enjoying them. So now here we have the fake train that we saw approaching Evesham Station last night. Doesn't look much like a train to me. Be patient, Watson. I haven't finished yet. We just need the lantern and a whistle. Using your imagination, our train requires only a headlight and a steam whistle. Of course. So use imagination. We need to attach a headlight and a steam whistle. Whistle. We need to find such. Do we not? Find them. And you think everything's in here? Fire extinguisher? Why do we have a fire extinguisher? A long pole. I'm just grabbing everything that's in here. It might be useful for this. Ah. Headlights. And the whistle. Voila. Yes. So we stick those on on our engine. As to where? The long pole is now attached. Right, of course. Because the then we st put the headlight on the top. The headlight is attached. And the, the whistle. whistle is now connected. And we can use that to make the sound. What can we do to make the steam whistle work? It is elementary, my dear Watson. We shall need a fire extinguisher. Which then blows through it. The fire extinguisher. Now let us see what we have here. It, it, the fire extinguisher goes through. First of all, let us pump the pressure inside the extinguisher. First of all, let us pump the pressure inside the extinguisher. Because that's what the whistle is for, is to blow off the pressure. <laughs> the steam whistle is ready to be used. 
And if we activate it with the brakes on, we still get the lights somehow. Obviously so. I do believe that we have created an exact replica of the train that vanished in front of us last night. The criminal mind can be most inventive. I am somewhat in awe. And then they hand so such a thing is possible. If someone went to all the trouble of creating this fake train, then it was surely with the intention of stealing the real one. Or its contents. Ah, Watson, you should not jump to conclusions. In fact, this does not tell us very much at all, except that the train did not evaporate into thin... It was never at Evesham. Although you half suspected it. Ah, at any rate, we now need to find where the real train might be hidden. I suggest we use my archives to find a more detailed map <laughs> of our surrounding. Well, I hope that justifies our having to load your massive archive suitcase onto the cab. It made us extremely unpopular with our driver. Right, so, new bits of evidence. So, they go together, and we now know the train never reached Evesham. It disappeared early and was faked by somebody using a handcar and spare train parts from Chesterfield Station. In that case, it makes... No, I must have missed it. Ah, if it passed through, that means they picked up... Oh, but they must have picked it up before, I'm sure. We haven't got any kind of ev evidence yet that really s puts these deductions together. That is bothersome. But, yes. My logic was sound. That's good to know. Um, so, with the fact that the workers weren't English, I assume that the Prakasas uh, were not... was not a real company. And therefore, is the archives on? Are the archives on here? Ooh, these are the archives, aren't they? Um, now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. So that's here, is it not? Ah, just the curve right here. Here it is. There is a side branch to the railway. Its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield station. It's only switch. There's one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield and Evesham, and there should be a side railway to the nearby quarry. There is a small section of a railway at the end of Evesham station. Right, wonderful. We now have a bit more information, don't we? Right, so what, what, we have a few more locations. The railway switch, the extra station... Uh, there was another one, wasn't there? Oh, this little branch line here off Evesham. Um, if we're working under the current supposition, which, as I am, that they didn't go through Chesterfield, then we should check this railway sw this railway uh, points. Hmm. So Robinson had a motive, but he was a victim. Or he was a victim. Now, if we say he was a victim, does that link us into uh, anything more? No. If we say the Chileans were left as an accident, which I think is preposterous, no, the Chileans were deliberate because I think this goes to the my, my thoughts on on these workers also being of possible Chilean. Ah, I was wondering what these tracks were, but they're they're from our cart, aren't they? Right, that goes to the mines. This is interesting. This is no mine; it's a tomb. Right, have they have these points been used recently? The switch is rusted, but it still works. Good. Okay, that's good to know. So the possible thought is that I don't think they would have taken it that quickly. Quite possible for someone to redirect the train towards the mines. Yes, indeed. Is there anything down this way that we can... Oh, right, we've already looked at that. Is there anything else down here, or are we just going to be heading towards the mines? Heading towards the mines. We'll continue down this route. As, uh... Oh, we're carrying on in the cab, are we? For some reason. Yes, so... We must work under the idea that this... Here are the mines homes. They appear to be abandoned. 
And yet... Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting here. Horses. What am I meant to be measuring? Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting here. I don't know what I'm meant to be measuring. Nothing interesting here. So if I... Nothing interesting here. I don't know what I'm meant to be measuring, especially with Nothing the... Interesting here. And that pops. So what's the width of the... The distance between the tracks is about four feet, eight inches. That's what we were after. A lightly loaded vehicle came this way. Right, nothing particularly useful. And there is a wooden beam lying on the rails. Next a small vehicle with wooden beams went down this way. Presumably didn't come back, hence the uh, train. Ah, no, it is not. I was worried that these tracks may have been our cart, but they're not. Our cab, sorry. So we know something came down here, which backs up the supposition. This mine has completely collapsed, Holmes. It is curious, but to be truthful, I am not entirely surprised. It's difficult to follow you, Holmes. That's what the tools were for, is to hide the train. The train is hidden under there. And they've, they took, they borrowed the tools, hid the train under there, and dug up the tracks. Believe so. Believe it's possible. Empty place. Yes. Traces on the ground. Missing rails. Someone removed these screws, most probably to take down the rails. Which is what the tools A few were feet for. Of, the rails have been dismantled. of course. To make this mine look like it's completely abandoned, when it is not. <laughs> yeah, it's collapsed mine. They did it. Pile of stones. Paper package. This is an unusual kind of paper, stiff and dry. Blasting. It was used for a specific purpose. Blasting. Let us look inside. It's going to be blasting powder, isn't it? Sawdust. I am almost certain it is a... Watson, could you assist, please? <laughs> Do you have your pistol? Good. Fire at this package. Boom. Oh, no. There you go. Dynamite. Yes. So this was deliberately sealed like this. Right. Oh. Oh, no. These two connected. Uh, Sabotage. The mines were collapsed with dynamite. Somebody wanted to close them intentionally. The mines were collapsed to hide the train. Dynamite was used after the train was moved inside. Which means that, yes, vanished before Evesham, and it missed Chesterfield. Otherwise, this makes no sense. Right. So the train is in there. Let's have a look in these buildings. They may grant us some more evidence. So are these more are these more of the tools. Very creaky place, isn't it? Hmm. Mine guards. Look. This box must be the safe. Let's open it. We're doing a lot of pick lock picking in this mission, aren't we? In this uh, not mission case. Right. So. That one. If we just connect all of them, I think we might be able to do some good out of this, hopefully. There we go. The Mexican company Caracal and the Chilean Marcazas both want to buy the ah. I need more information. Perhaps Mycroft could help. Yes, so the uh, the Chilean Barcazas just happened to randomly want one. 
rand- want to randomly acquire a, a random mine that just happens to be here. Yes, they are mentioned once again. We inform you that the representatives of the Barcazas group are granted free access from now on. This company is the future owner of the mines. So, uh, uh, st- also starting from today, and no trespassing rule is upheld against any representative of the Catacal Consortium. The preliminary contract of sale has been cancelled. Do not provide any explanation. This information is confidential. Um, examine the side railway branch at Evesham. So we, could, we should probably go and have a look at these other areas just in case. But I believe we've already found it. Found what we're after. So this is another route into the mines. We can't go in there. But I fear the only reason they're interested is so they can have the access and they'll probably dump them off and then whoever owns the mines gets messed up because they're not uh, on the side of Karakal. Well, we'll head back to Evesham. I mean, there's the other line as well as in this station. It might be worth absur- heading there just to see if we can talk to the station master. Let's do that, actually. And assumably there'll be a telegraph there as well that we can use to communicate with Mycroft. Yeah, we don't... Yeah, they're not really linked together, do they? But that's not really a point, is it's being Mexicans versus Chileans. It's the fact it's um, Barcasas. Again. Returning. Doncaster. Interesting. A funny character. He looks anxious. Yes. Um, he is not an Englishman. Yes, I'd noticed that. Still smoking. Hmm. This scent is familiar <laughs> to me, but in order to recognize it, I must combine my associations into one picture. These are weird. So. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We've got to take into consideration the things we can't move, so if we can... Drop these out just so it's... That's not That's not even a matter of moving them out of the way, so we need to... So they go like that. You start across a little bit. There we go. Greenish round cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. Huzzah. Ricardo, you already know the name of this man. It's the brand of cigar. No, Watson, I refer to the cigar. It is a Ricardo Turret, a Mexican cigar of an excellent quality. Quite an expensive one, too. Right, so he's Mexican. Assumably, he's wondering why they've suddenly lost the uh, their bid on the mines. Right, piece of burnt paper. Yes. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Apparently, there was a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. Probably should have read that. Cigars. Cigar yeah, more Ricardos. He's been here for a while then. Ashes and cigar stubs are similar to the one that we found on the floor. Some of the stubs were recently smoked. There are others that appear fairly old. Yes. That means that the fellow spent several days here. Judging by his clothes, he's hardly a traveller or a tramp. He's interested in the mine. Concluded, my dear fellow. A man who smoked the Ricardo brand of Mexican cigar spent several long days at Doncaster Station. 